Facebook Live look in. I actually started having arm pain and it would stop me from doing certain things. And just using my hand, I'm a right-handed person, just using my hand for 10 minutes, my hand would completely fall asleep. I'd feel the like that fuzzy start from my elbow, then go down towards, and then the sharp needle pain. And that's when I decided to seek a chiropractor, um, but I actually didn't know uh, at that moment what type of chiropractor I would be seeing. And then I looked more into Dr. Petrie. Um, I've been with him, I think, for about a month, and I've... And just recently, two weeks ago, I realized that using my arm for 10 minutes, I will I'll still be okay. And I no longer have like that sharp pain that I would just randomly walking, I would just get it. And um, while well, we're still working on the neck, but it's definitely something I'm not thinking about anymore like I used to. Bring your left leg up as high as you can. Okay, so right there, and we'll compare that to the other side. You see how that's restricted. So we're going to go ahead and give Erica an adjustment right now, and hopefully we get the leg to change as far as the motion goes, but definitely get the leg to come all the way down on the right side as we usually do. And I adjust her based on her own individual x-ray analysis, and I'm going to measure right now for where I'm supposed to stand. Touching her with this part of my hand. Because her spine is locked into this position, her leg is short on the right side. She cannot lift her right leg up as well as she should be able to. Watch what happens now as I release the top of the neck the leg comes down and then watch very carefully what happens with her ability to raise her leg. Let's bring your left leg up as high as you can. Good, down, and let's try that right side. Okay. Bring your left leg up as high as you can. Okay, so right there, and we'll compare that to the other side. You see how that's restricted. People ask me regularly, how does it work? And the short answer is very, very well. Let me give you a little bit more of a detailed answer. Thank you for being live with us so far. Don't forget to share this information with your friends. We're gonna pop right over here. So whether you're watching later on on YouTube, make sure that you comment below in the um, right around the description box. Here's what we're doing. Here's what happens. The head and neck relationship goes out of balance. Since the brainstem and the cerebellum is the postural control center for the entire spinal column and the entire body. What happens is nature says, we don't like being like this. We're gonna go ahead and be like this instead of being like this to offset the pressure built up here in the brainstem. So the consequence can oftentimes be widespread bruising, pain, discomfort, fatigue, um, difficulty sleeping, changes in mood, serotonin, melatonin, sleep, wake cycles being off, because all that stuff is regulated right here in the brainstem. All we're trying to do is flip the switch very, very, very gently. In fact, probably about this much pressure, here's my little iPad, probably about that much pressure to her spine, and our ultimate goal is this. Body heals itself, nature needs no help, just no interference. Thanks for watching, and again, share this with your friends. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Prior Lake Spinal Care, 952-226-7222, or email us at info at priorlakespinalcare.com.